need to be indented into the walls of the combustion chamber to enable the apex of rotor to sweep past. As the rotor's apex seals pass over the spark plug hole, a small amount of compressed charge can be lost from the charge chamber to the exhaust chamber, entailing fuel in thick exhaust, reducing efficiency, and resulting in higher emissions. These points have been overcome by using laser ignition, eliminating traditional spark plugs and removing the narrow slit in the motor housing so the rotor apex seals can fully sweep with no loss of compression from adjacent chambers. This concept has a precedent in the glow plug used by Toyota, SAE paper 790,435 and the SAE paper 930,680, by D. Hickson et al., on catalytic glow plugs in the JDTI stratified charge rotary engine. The laser plug can fire through the narrow slit. Laser plugs can also fire deep into the combustion chamber using multiple lasers. So, a higher compression ratio is permitted. Direct fuel injection to which the Wankel engine is suited combined with laser ignition in single or multiple laser plugs, has been shown to enhance the motor even further reducing the disadvantages. 72, 75, 76, Homogeneous Charge Compression Ignition, HCCI. Homogeneous Charge Compression Ignition, HCCI, involves the use of a premixed lean air fuel mixture being compressed to the point of auto ignition so electronic spark ignition is eliminated. Gasoline engine S combine homogeneous charge, HC, with spark ignition, Psi, abbreviated as HCSI. Diesel engines combine stratified charge, SC, with compression ignition, CI, abbreviated as SCCI. HCCI engines achieve gasoline engine-like emissions with compression ignition engine-like efficiency, and low levels of nitrogen oxide emissions, NOx, without a catalytic converter. However, unburned hydrocarbon and carbon monoxide emissions still require treatment to conform with automotive emission regulations. Mazda has undertaken research on HCCI ignition for its Skyactiv-R rotary engine project, using research from its Skyactiv Generation 2 program. A constraint of rotary engines is the need to locate the spark plug outside the combustion chamber to enable the rotor to sweep past. Mazda confirmed that the problem had been solved in the Skyactiv-R project. Rotaries generally have high compression ratios making them particularly suitable for the use of HCCI.77, 78, 79, Spark Controlled Compression Ignition, SPXI. SPXI incorporates spark and compression ignition. A spark is always used to control exactly when combustion occurs. Depending on the load, it may be only spark ignition. Other times XI dot the spark ignites a small pulse of richer mixture injected into the combustion chamber. A fireball is created acting like an air piston, and increasing the pressure and temperature. Compression ignition of the very lean mixture occurs, with a rapid and even and complete burn leading to a more powerful cycle. The compression ignition aspect makes the lean burn possible, improving engine efficiency up to 20-30%. It gives a rotary the ability to switch from the ideal, stoichiometric, 14.71 air to fuel mixture of a conventional gasoline burning engine to the lean burn mixture of over 29.41. The engine is in lean burn mode about 80% of running time. The combustion timing is controlled by the flame from the spark plug. According to Mazda, SPXI combines advantages of both petrol and diesel engines and gives high efficiency across a wide range of RPMs and engine loads. Combined with a supercharger, the compression ignition delivers an increase in torque of 20-30%. 80, 81, compression ignition rotary. 
Rolls-Royce R6 two-stage rotary compression ignition engine research has been undertaken into rotary compression ignition engines and the burning of diesel heavy fuel using spark ignition. The basic design parameters of the Wankel engine preclude obtaining a compression ratio higher than 15-1 or 17-1 in a practical engine, but attempts are continuously being made to produce a compression ignition Wankel. The Rolls-Royce, 82, and Landmark compression ignition, 83, approach was to use a two-stage unit, with own rotor acting as compressor, while combustion takes place in the of the dot, 84, conversion of a standard 294cc chamber spark ignition unit to use heavy fuel was described in SAE paper 930682, by L. Lauverne. SAE paper 930,683, BSFC 330 G forward slash K where, by D. Ironman, resulted in the Wankel Supertech line of spark ignition retrie engines, BSFC 270 to 310 G forward slash K where, 85, not much less than motor 250 forward slash 400 by Rudolf Diesel of the year 1897. But the Curtis Wright RC2-47 with stratified charge injection achieves consumption values around 226 G forward slash kilowatt hour which is on par with the common rail diesel engine MTUMB873KA501.8687. Compression ignition engine research is being undertaken by Pratt and Whitney Rocket Dime which was commissioned by DARPA to develop a compression ignition Wankel engine for use in a prototype toll flying car called the Transformer. 88, 89, 90, 91. The engine, based on an earlier concept involving an unmanned aerial vehicle called EnduroCore, powered by a Wankel diesel. 92. Plans to utilize Wankel rotors of varying sizes on a shared eccentric shaft to increase efficiency. 93. The engine is claimed to be a full compression, full expansion, compression ignition cycle engine. And the 28th of October, 2010 patent by Pratt and Whitney Rocket Dime describes a Wankel engine. Rolls-Royce R1C compression ignition prototype. Superficially similar to Rolls-Royce earlier prototype, that required an external air compressor to achieve high enough compression for compression ignition cycle combustion. 94, 95. The design differs from Rolls-Royce compression ignition rotary, mainly by proposing an injector both in the exhaust passage between the combustor rotor and expansion rotor stages and an injector in the expansion rotus expansion chamber for afterburning. The British company Rotron, which specializes in unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, applications of Wankel engines, has designed and built a unit to operate on heavy fuel for NATO purposes. The engines uses spark ignition. The prime innovation is flame propagation, ensuring the flame burns smoothly across the whole combustion chamber. The fuel is preheated to 98 degrees Celsius before it is injected into the combustion chamber. Four spark plugs were utilized, aligned in two pairs. Two spark plugs ignite the fuel charge at the front of the rotor as it moves into the combustion section of the housing. As the rotor moves the fuel charge, the second two fire a fraction of second behind the first pair of plugs igniting near the rear of the rotor at the back of the fuel charge. The drive shaft is water cooled which also has a cooling effect on the internals of the rotor. Cooling water also flows around the external of the engine through a gap in the housing thus reducing the heat of the engine from outside and inside eliminating hot spots. 96. Hydrogen Fuel Mazda RX-8 Hydrogen I Hydrogen-Fueled Rotary Engine Eat Car Using Hydrogen Fuel in Wankel Engines Improved Efficiency by 23% over Gasoline Fuel with Near Zero Emissions. 59. 
four-stroke or reciprocating piston auto cycle engines are not well suited for conversion to hydrogen fuel. The hydrogen forward slash air fuel mix can misfire on whole parts of the engine like the exhaust valve and spark plugs, as a foul stroke operations occur in the same chamber. 97. As a hydrogen forward slash air fuel mixture is quicker to ignite with a faster burning rate than gasoline. An important issue of hydrogen internal combustion engines is to prevent pre-ignition and backfire. In a rotary engine each pulse of the auto cycle occurs in different chambers. The rotary has no exhaust valves that may remain hot and produce the backfire that occurs in reciprocating piston engines. Importantly, the intake chamber is separated from the combustion chamber keeping the air forward slash fuel mixture away from localized hose spots. These structural features of the rotary engine enable the use of hydrogen without pre-ignition and backfire. A Wankel engine has stronger flows of air fuel mixture and a longer operating cycle than a reciprocating piston engine, achieving a thorough mixing of hydrogen and air. The result is a homogeneous mixture with no hot spots in the engine which is crucial for hydrogen combustion. 98. Hydrogen forward slash air fuel mixtures are a keeker to ignite than gasoline mixtures with a high burning rate, resulting in all the fuel being burnt with no unburnt fuel being ejected into the exhaust stream as is the case using gasoline fuel in rotary engines. Emissions are near zero, even with oil lubrication of apex seals. Yes, I need to get my socks on. I'm freezing on my feet a little bit. Let's just continue. That's one hour, 30 minutes. So uh, that takes a long time. So I did find a lot of stuff. Like, when I look at that, we had to finish uh, the first project, is try to finish reading this. Then probably I'd like to read about this master company and this master AX7, AX8. They mentioned some cars, cars and stuff. Probably look at that when I'm finished reading. Another problem concerns the hydrogenate attack on the lubricating film in reciprocating engines. In a Wankel engine, the problem of a hydrogenate attack is circumvented by using ceramic apex seals. 99. 100. All these points lend the Wankel engine as ideal for hydrogen fuel burning. Mazda built and sold a vehicle that took advantage of the rotary's suitability to hydrogen fuel, a dual fuel Mazda RX-8 hydrogen refat cord switch on the fly from gasoline to hydrogen and back. 101. 60. Advantages. NSU Wankel Spider. The first line of cars sold with a rotor Wankel engine Mazda Cosmo. The first series Torita Wankel engine sports car prime advantages of the Wankel engine are sad smiley 20, a far higher power to weight ratio than a piston engine. Easier to package in small engine spaces than an equivalent piston engine. No reciprocating parts. Able to reach higher revolutions per minute than a piston engine. Operating with almost no vibration. Not prone to engine knock. Cheaper to mass produce, because the engine contains fewer parts. Superior breathing, filling the combustion charge in 270 degrees of main shaft rotation rather than 180 degrees in a piston engine. Supplying torque for about two thirds of the combustion cycle rather than one quarter for a piston engine. Wider speed range giving greater adaptability. Can use fuels of wider octane ratings. Does not suffer from scale effect to limit its size. Easily adapted and highly suitable to use hydrogen fuel. On some Wankel engines the sump oil remains uncontaminated by the combustion process, so no oil changes are required. The oil in the main shaft is totalized from the combustion process. The oil for apex seals and crankcase lubrication is separate. 
In piston engines the crankcase oil is contaminated by combustion blow the thruff the piston rings dot 102. Rankle engines are considerably lighter and simpler, containing far fewer moving parts than piston engines of equivalent power output. Valves or complex valve trains are eliminated by using simple ports cut into fuels of the rotor housing. Since the rotor rides directly on a large bearing on the output shaft, there are no connecting rods and no crank shaft. The elimination of reciprocating mass and the elimination of the mostly stressed and failure-prone parts of piston engines gives the Wankel engine high reliability as move the flow of power and a high power to weight ratio dot the surface to volume ratio in the moving combustion chamber is so complex that a direct comparison cannot be made between a reciprocating piston engine and a wankel engine the flow velocity and the heat losses are quite different surface temperature characteristics are completely different the film of oil in the wankel engine acts as insulation Engines with a higher compression ratio have a worse surface-to-volume ratio. The surface-to-volume ratio of a reciprocating piston diesel engine is much poorer than a reciprocating piston gasoline engine, but diesel engines have a higher efficiency factor. Hence, comparing. Power outputs is a realistic metric. A reciprocating piston engine with equal power to a wankel will be approximately twice the displacement. When comparing the power to weight ratio, physical size or physical weight to a similar power output piston engine, the wankel is superior. A four-stroke cylinder produces a power stroke only every other rotation of the crankshaft, with three strokes being pumping losses. This doubles the real surface to volume ratio for the four stroke reciprocating piston engine and the displacement increased. 103, 104. The Wankel, therefore, has higher volumetric efficiency and lower pumping losses through the absence of choking valves. 105. Because of the quasi overlap of the power strokes that cause the smoothness of the engine and the avoidance of the four-stroke cycle in a reciprocating engine. The Wankel engine is very quick to react to power increases, giving a quick delivery of power when the demand arises, especially at higher RPMs. This difference is more pronounced when compared to four-cylinder reciprocating engines and less pronounced when compared to higher cylinder counts. In addition to the removal of internal reciprocating stresses by the complete removal of reciprocating internal parts typically found in a piston engine, the Wankel engine is constructed with an iron rotor within a housing made of aluminium, which has a greater coefficient of thermal expansion. This ensures that even a severely overheated Wankel engine cannot seize, as is likely to occur in an overheated piston engine. Thighs is a substantial safety benefit when used in aircraft. In addition, the absence of valves and valve trains increases safety. GM tested an iron rotor and iron housing in their prototype Wankel engines that worked at higher temperatures with lower specific fuel consumption. A further advantage of the Wankel engine for use in aircraft is that it generally has a smaller frontal area than a piston engine of equivalent power, allowing a more aerodynamic nose to be designed around the engine. A cascading advantage is that the smaller size and lower weight of the Wankel engine allows for savings in airframe construction costs compared to piston engines of comparable power dot wankel engines operating within their original design parameters are almost immune to catastrophic failure dot a wankel engine that loses compression or cooling or oil pressure will lose a large amount of power and fail over a short period of time it will however usually continue to produce some power during that time allowing for a safer landing when used in aircraft Piston engines under the same circumstances are prone to seizing or breaking parts, which will almost certainly result in catastrophic failure of the engine, and the instant loss of all power. For this reason, 
Blanco engines are very well suited to snowmobiles, which often take users into remote places where a failure could result in frostbite or death, and in aircraft, where abrupt failure is likely to lead to a crash or forced landing in a remote place. From the combustion chamber shape and features, the fuel octane requirements of Wankel engines are lower than in reciprocating piston engines.